whatever you're doing. You're pivoting your leg out, so you're getting into the outside of your back of your leg. And then at some point coming up, pivoting the other way. I like to take a little bit more of a step back here and kind of anchor my heel into the floor and pull back a little bit. So you get a big stretch of the inner hamstring area. how much more open the right leg feels in the left before you switch side. So decide how you're going to be, what you're going to be using to prop yourself up on this side. And let your left leg be out in front. Taking a step back with your right foot. Pulling your toes back toward you. And feeling the stretch in the back. Left hamstrings. Realizing your big breaths in. Slow exhales through your nose release the tension. At some point, we'll pivot your leg to the outside, to the pinky toe side again, and feel a stretch move to the outer hamstrings. And on your own timing, you'll switch to let the inner thigh have a little stretch. Again, you can anchor your heel down into the ground and feel like you're pulling back. Get a little traction feeling. And then releasing that. Coming to a stand. Maybe um, if you have some water in your water bottle, you might want to drink some of it. Always a good idea to get some fluids in you after a ride. So now we're just going to try a forward fold to uh, stretch the hamstrings now that we've kind of warmed that up a little bit. So you can let it, a little softness to your knees and then um, take your hands to your hips so that you feel your fingers on your frontal hip bones and think about your hip bones going down toward your thigh bones, hinging that way, keeping your legs a little soft and knees bent. Then at some point you can exhale as you straighten your legs. You might need to come up a little bit to that, or you can stay there. If your hamstrings allow you to go a little deeper, you can do that. And then finally, you can just let yourself round down. So if you are up higher and you're rounding down, you're up here. Whatever yours looks like, you just want to be concentrating the stretch in the backs of your legs. You can take opposite elbows, opening up your chest again. Switch the grip of your elbows. And then let that go. Let your knees bend again. And roll yourself up. Take your arms overhead. And then hands down again. So another place that I get a lot of tension when I'm cycling is around in my neck because you're hunched over like this and looking up. So let's concentrate on that a little bit. So first you can just do some shoulder shrugs, circling around one direction and the other direction. Hopefully you're noticing that your legs feel a lot better. And now let's do one shoulder much bigger in both directions and then the other. And then just stand and without a back bend now, just lift your chin up high. And on an exhale, drop your chin in, down toward your chest, feel the stretch in the back of your neck. Let your fingers feel really heavy down toward the floor. And fill your lungs up a lot. And when you're emptying your breath out, let your right ear slide over toward your right shoulder and feel even more weight in your left fingertips. So you'll feel a big stretch on the left side of your neck this way. And then sometime when you're exhaling, let your chin go back to your chest, fill up again, and take it over the other way. So 
again, as your head is to the left, your right fingers are heavy, encouraging your right shoulder away from your right ear, your right ear away from your right shoulder. Make any little micro adjustments you need to get into your tight spot. And then on your exhale again, chin down to your chest, shake your head out a little bit, and then bring your head back up in line with your spine. Again, hopefully that feels awesome. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit more exaggerated version of that, so it's not gonna be just up into your neck. You're also gonna get into your upper back a little bit. So you're gonna be um, tucking your chin down in and rounding, and as you round your head going over to one side, you can open up your left chest, so your head is over to the right, now you're 